Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm going to be doing one of the most random hauls I think I've ever done on my channel. But before I get to that, I wanted to share with you, I got this, it's called Honey Sue. I found it online, but if any of you are into the Korean skincare, this is the Korean skincare routine, steps 1 through 10. And I like this one because it tells you what products you're supposed to use and how you're supposed to use it. And I really like that. Like sometimes I, I get confused after the cleansing step. Uh, but it tells you you do exfoliant, toner, essence, serum, and ampule. Those especially confuse me, like when to put those products. And yeah, so I thought some of you might be interested in that. I just looked up Honey Sue Korean Routine and then I emailed it, the picture to myself and I printed it out. Because it could get a little complicated. And for my lips, I'm wearing one of the products that I hauled. This is the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick. And I love this. My favorite currently long-wearing lipstick is the Wet n' Wild. Which one is this? The Mega Last Liquid Catsuit and the Matte Lipstick. I love this formula the best. But this one, I really like this. It doesn't... I have yet to find a liquid uh lipstick that lasts through eating i always think i always see it coming off right over here so um this still doesn't last through eating but i love this and i like the color i before i can tell you what the color was uh but it has right here you're not going to be able to see it but there's a little print uh printing of words and it says wine tour i love this and this is the color on me and it does feel drying so if you don't like dry lipsticks this is not for you but I feel like it lasts a pretty good long time and the color is really nice I have another one that I enjoy as well and I'll definitely be getting more of these now back to this so I had gotten so this is my favorite the this is the matte one but I tried I didn't even know this was I didn't realize that I had gotten a different one this is the high shine lipstick and I have to say this is a really weird formula it goes on streaky i don't know if it's just this color but it is shiny but the way it goes on like it just on the lips it doesn't look good the color is beautiful but on the lips no it's not a go um so i won't i won't be getting that formula but i do like the um, this one the matte lipstick one so i wanted to share with you that and then let me just get started with the haul like I said, it's going to be totally random. And this is the Sephora Playbox. My sister gets this and she shares with me the goodies that she doesn't want. So it's like I get it too. Uh, so here is the Verb Shampoo and Conditioner. I have I had several samples of shampoos and conditioners like this. So um, I used them all up. And I'll use this one soon. And then the Subvert... The Urban Decay Perversion Volumizing Mascara. I think I've tried this, but I don't. I forgot how I feel about it, so I'll try that again. And then here is the Sephora Triple Action Cleansing Water. Nice size. And I actually like to use this bottle after I'm finished with this for something else. It's a really nice travel size. And then I have used this before. This is the Laura Mercier foundation primer and radiance i think i have that as well somewhere i feel like oh no it was was it another primer oh no here it is i have the big size <laughs> um but this that's a nice one for a travel size uh, and then the last one that i'm pretty excited about this is the pharmacy ha honeymoon glow aha Resurf resurfacing night serum so let's see what this looks like if i could get it open Again, nice travel size. So it looks like that. And I don't know that much about it. It says, blah, 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 Re refine pores and resurface to reveal a youthful glow. So I'll be using that. I like using prim uh, primers. We're not talking about primers anymore. I like using uh, serums and things like that. So, and by the way, I was looking for this Band-Aid. I found it. It was in like my many bags that I have in my room. I was going crazy for it. Have you ever, like, it doesn't, you don't need the, whatever you're looking for, but just the fact that you can't find it, it drives you bananas. So I'm glad I found it. Uh, this is Steve had order from J Crew, and this is with 
a collab with the Human Rights Campaign. So just a pair of socks. He gave it to me. Love that uh, organization. Next is... No, not that. Uh, this is the Wolf Tay Back Scratcher. It's just one of those things I got off of Amazon because Steve needed a back scratcher. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I want one too. So it looks like this. It's retractable. He always needs his back scratch. And I'm like, I don't always want to do it. <laughs> okay, next is another uh, order from Amazon. Uh, Amazon and this was this is a toenail kit and it's for ingrown toenails or hangnails and so I already put in some alcohol wipes because I like to rub I had an incident where like my big toe was hurting and I don't know if it's from my nail thing so I just keep alcohol pads in there to wipe it off as I am done using it so this comes with, so it comes in this nice little pouch, and you get a nail file, which I don't love these kinds, um, but I guess it's good to have in here. And then you get, these are the the tools that I was, that's why I got this. Um, so you get this thing, and it has a serrated end, and then this is the same, but it's, this one isn't curved like the other side. And then, this is my favorite. So this side, you get a little bit, it has... Like you, so you dig it into your nail and it's, it's a scooper and then set this side is like if you to cut your cuticles or whatever. I'm probably not saying that right, but you know what I'm saying. And then it did come with a toenail clipper, which <laughs> they're huge. So I don't love this, but this part came off and actually like hit my hand. Um, and I emailed the company and they sent me another one, but they also sent me another kit. So I gave that one to Steve, but this one doesn't hurt this one doesn't fly off this is the thing that flew off so this one is good and then this I needed another eye cream I use eye creams and I haven't found one that I definitely noticed a difference but I I know that I should be using it so I got this one here this is the La Roche Posay I got it from Target and it's for it's ultra sensitive for ultra sensitive skin allergy prone and it says ultra eye soothing repair lotion gosh sorry let me just get to the point and it looks like this and it's a really cool packaging actually so it's they have it i think this is easier to use there's like a bag within this product so it looks like that and i don't have to use it yet but i just want to share with you so this is the current eye cream that i'm wearing i'm wearing, i'm using and it's the clinique pep start eye cream and so i couldn't squeeze out anymore and i just don't like it when companies do this there's about i don't know a week or two weeks worth of product in there so i definitely recommend you if you are able to to cut the bottle um, that you're currently using and that you think it's almost done, but it's not guys. There's stuff in there Okay, next is from Old Navy and I love shopping at Old Navy. I know it's not the most like I don't know. It's not expensive at all. I don't know why I was even started there. It's there I like to, to shop there because the they have really good basic stuff and it's not expensive. Uh, so I got these shoes. I love them. I have a pair similar to this, but when you buy from, I don't know, like lower end stores or, you know, mall, places like Forever 21, uh, you know, they're only going to last for a season or two. So these are what they look like. I love them and they're very comfortable. They have like a cushioning at the bottom here so I got those and I had gotten a really great deal on it and you could always get something from them through Ebates as well and then they had these high-waisted shorts and I thought that these were so cute they're they're short but they're not super super short they're not booty shorts or anything uh, and I like that they're high-waisted so it could cover my muffin top and then just fun stuff here. A couple of fun things. So here's a carafe, but it's a mini carafe. 
anything mini size is so cute and then here is somebody at work brought this in and they were up for the taking so i thought this was so funny for halloween or like just to have a plate out and it's cute so i took that and then oh my goodness i just i keep on thinking about the old navy thing that it just didn't make any sense that whole what i was thinking but i do like old navy and i feel like they're always having a sale so i like them okay next is i went to lowe's is everything in here lowe's yes so i ordered a raised planter or a raised flower bed which i didn't know that existed i was planning on making a vegetable slash herb garden in the back with just uh wood planks going around in the backyard to, uh, off to the side you guys need to know exactly where it's going uh but i don't know i just was like i don't want it to take up ava's space like she goes to the bathroom back there and i just didn't want to take away more grass space so i was looking online and i saw that they had raised planter beds and they're kind of expensive off of amazon but i was looking around and i saw on wayfair that they were ha they had this raised flower bed and it seemed like a good size the other ones that i was looking at were too small and I want to plant not a ton of stuff, but I want to be able to, if I, the choice to plant more stuff if I want to. And I'm talking about tomatoes and maybe jalapenos and herbs like parsley and basil. Nothing too crazy. Um, so I was, it's kind of come in this light wood and that's not my favorite color. So I got this. It's still light, but it's this is the Valspar One Coat Exterior Stain and Sealer Transparent, and it says All Weather Defense, and it's natural, um, cedar natural tone. It's a little bit darker than the one I'm getting, and it says that you need to use a nylon brush, which I didn't have, so I got a nylon brush. That's not cheap, by the way. Uh, and then at Dollar Tree... I saw these and I thought they were so my sister saw these actually they're plant labels and you get 10 pieces I don't know I thought that was kind of cute so I got that we'll see I you know I went to like I said I went to Lowe's and I thought they would have um I don't start it from the seed I just get it from Lowe's whatever they have and I haven't had the greatest luck with them uh, not specifically low plants, but I'm going to try and see. Maybe I'll go back there. They weren't out there yet. Or I'll go to Walmart. I know they have a garden section. And then the last bag here is Unicro and I think, um, oh, Costco. So Costco, I saw these. So funny, I get the Aerism shirts from Uniqlo and they were also having, so Costco was also having something similar. This is 32 degrees cool and you get a blue and a black and I love these types of shirts. I like to wear them underneath and I'm actually wearing one of the Uniqlo ones right now. Um, they did have another one, it was a pink and a white. I don't love white undershirts for whatever reason so I knew I was going to get more wear out of this. And then the last thing, well, is that the, really the last thing? No, it's not. So this is from J. Crew, and I love these very simple bracelets, and I like to wear these um, to stack them. So and they have different kinds of metal. So they have gold, silver, um, but I like the rose gold the best. I'll just keep that off for now. And then double checking. And this is a shirt that I got from Uniqlo. It's Easy Care. And it's a woman drape short sleeve blouse. And I got, I didn't get black. I usually get black. Um, but this has been sitting in my bag. And it's virtually wrinkle free. Uh, but it's just a blouse. And the back is really nice. It has a little bit of detailing in the back. It, can you guys see the bottom? It flows out. I had, excuse me, I had gotten another shirt kind of similar to this but it was very boxy so i thought this would be a little bit of a change it flows out a little bit at the bottom um gives you a little bit more interest and i think that's all i wanted to share with you i hope you guys enjoyed the uh day in the life i don't really talk about what i do um i mention it here and there um and i know that video was like um I didn't show you that much but it's so hard to show you 
the in the school with the kids and everything but i'll try it again um and hopefully i'll get more stuff to share with you and i think that's it i am on break now so i'm planning i hope to film a few more videos this week famous last words right um uh, anyway if you're on break i hope you enjoy if you're not on break i hope you have a good work week and i'll talk to you guys soon bye